football coach and athletic director at Wichita Falls High School from 1947 to 1961. Under his leadership, the Coyotes boasted an impressive 153 wins, the most by any coach in WFISD history. His team lost just 25 times and recorded two times, winning 85% of his games. It's the best mark in Coyotes program history. The legendary head coach led his teams to six state title games, winning four state championships across three different decades. First in 1949, the Coyotes repeated as champs in 1950, won again in 1958, and a fourth time in 1961. After that season, Golding took over as the WFISD athletic director, a position he held until 1979. The field at Memorial Stadium is named after Joe Golding, and tonight he becomes a member of the Next Star Sports Hall of Fame. Accepting on behalf of Joe Golding, his son, Joe Golding. Okay, we'll get an old story over here. Next star, we thank you, Texama's uh, Sports Wars. We appreciate you, Tobin, for all y'all do. Okay, Tobin called up. He says, Joe, you're going to have this award. Don't know much about it. Get it to come. It's going to be for your dad. I said, well, what am I supposed to say? He said, well, you got about three minutes, and you're supposed to say something funny. <laughs> I said, well, I said, what do you mean funny? He said, well, you're supposed to say something nice, something funny about your dad. I said, you hell didn't know my dad. <laughs> I said, I said, there wasn't anything funny about this man. There's no funny in my life when I was growing up. Uh, this man grew up in Ufala, Oklahoma, about 1,500 people. A thousand of them were Indian. Uh, my grandfather ran a pool hall and sold uh, moonshine whiskey till the feds came and got him and he took off running. <laughs> took a year to, for my grandmother to get a divorce <laughs> so that she could get the pool hall. <laughs> she so she, she's got this pool hall and now she don't know what to do with it. Well, we're in the middle of the Depression. So she says... I'll turn it into a co-op grocery store. Well, everybody in that town loved my grandmother. She later became the city clerk, uh, ran for election, had one guy run against her, got three votes. Took an ad out in the paper next week, said, I guess I'm leaving town. <laughs> so he's out. She turns those pool tables into a co-op grocery store, carries all the books, and my dad, that's how he grew up. And when he's 18 years old, he set off on foot from Ufall, Oklahoma to Commerce to East Texas University. Grandmother had fixed him two uh, sandwiches, put them in a paper sack, and he had everything he owned on him. And he took off. And four years later, he graduated from East Texas, never made a B in his life. Not only did he graduate uh, with a PE degree, but he had his master's in English. And a lot of people think my dad's a great football coach, and that's all they think of. Uh, people weren't aware that he was really a better basketball player than he was everything else. And that's where one, Paul Brotherton's, uh, that's where they got to be really good buddies. But my dad was a different dude. Football was his life. Toby, we lived the same life together. And when the time came for it to be over, he didn't have anything. And somewhere, I don't know where this guy came up with this idea, but he was... He'd gone to a uh, baseball game down at the Astrodome during coaching school. 
and he envisioned AstroTurf for a high school football stadium. Never been done before. So instead of football championships, he wanted to be the first high school to ever have AstroTurf. I'm getting to the funny part. <laughs> so they, I don't know how the man does it. He convinces the school board and the people of Wichita Falls, and next thing you know, we've got a stadium, brand new stadium, and it's going to have AstroTurf, the only stadium in the United States of America. And what's going to really top this thing off is they're going to put this big statue. We had a Greek here in town that paid for the whole thing. And they had all this big square marble, piece of marble up there. It had the statue on it, but it's covered. So nobody could see it. So everybody wanted to come to see this high school football stadium with AstroTurf. People from Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, all these cameras, every TV station, film, everybody's rolling. We're going to have the big moment. We pull the rope. That dude's naked as a jaybird. <laughs> now, now my, my dad was a deacon at First Baptist Church. <laughs> And he'd already told everybody he was the one responsible for what just was going to happen. Is that funny? That's funny. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all been great tonight. Uh, thank you for honoring all the people that have been here. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, Chris. Uh, job well done. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Don't forget your trophy. That's not fun. <laughs> and to this day, when we go out to Memorial Stadium and we tell a coach, hey, we're going to do a live shot out there. We want to meet you. And where do you want to meet? Ah, let's meet underneath the naked guy. That's, that's what we always say. So, so yeah, the, the naked guy, the naked runner still exists out there and always will. Okay.